Rob, it's week two of pre-season. Is it fair to say that this week the rugby starts? Uh, yeah, the boys had a bit of testing week one, um, just to see where they were at after, the, after their break. Um, and that, that, that yielded some really positive results. Lads had obviously been professional over the time off, which is excellent. And then we had a bit of training, a bit of getting to know each other, a bit of bonding, etc. those sorts of things, which is important. We've got quite a few new lads in this year. And then this week, sort of the rugby starts in earnest for us, yeah. So uh, it's exciting and it's great to see everyone out um, putting, in the, putting in the hard work. Let's talk about the new guys, integrating them into the squad. What's the kind of plan behind that? Is it a fairly long-term view when you're looking at that? Yes and no. I think rather than long-term, it's probably something that's ongoing. We, we can never be tight enough, can you? So we, we, we try and work on that all year. But to answer the question, probably no. We want them we want them in and in the group under the wing ASAP. So that's probably why we did that first week, uh, the way we did. And, and fair play, that they've all been brilliant and bought into what we're trying to do and, and, and are really great lads, which is which helps, makes it a lot easier. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing all them uh, go throughout the summer. And for you, the off-season, was it about tweaking what it is that the Jersey Reds do? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just like the players want to try and get better, so do us coaches with our game plan and how we do things and, and how we how we run the rugby club. Uh, so it, was, it wasn't so much maybe a week or two off and then, then we were planning. Um, but yeah, again, as, as I've used the word a few times, just exciting to obviously had a brilliant season last season. Worked really hard through it, had some good joy at the end. And then you have a bit of time off, you reflect and you think, well, actually, how do we get better? And that's the challenge that we're faced with now. And um, it's, we've got to do that having lost some big personnel, uh, but equally got some great personnel in. So putting that all into the pot and trying to come up with a better team than we were last year. With the fact that we, we won the league last year, does that make it more difficult for you? I don't know, it's a strange one, isn't it? People have said that, like, you spend your whole time trying to win it and then you win it and it's suddenly more difficult. I, I don't think it's more difficult. I think it's a slightly different challenge. It's a different challenge for this rugby club to be in that position with that label. Um, and we actually spoke about it this morning, like, the sort of joy in the feeling that we had of that, of actually winning it, probably lasts a couple of weeks. But the feeling of work that went into, into getting that two weeks took ten months. So, which we feel is more important, you know? It's the one that that got us there. But that's not to detract from the joy it gave us. But yeah, look, it probably does. We've probably got a bit of a target on our back, don't we? And everyone else goes, right, we're gonna, gonna get better. And that's why we're trying to get better as well. Long pre-season, um, but that, that's a chance for you to really look at the guys under the microscope. Yeah, exactly. That's what we'll try and do throughout this pre-season is build it up and put them in situations where, where they feel that pressure and, and we need to see how they react. And it's then our job as coaches to make that creative and fun and engaging for the players as well as hard work and getting them fit, etc. You know, we've got a pretty good record of that, I think, over the last couple of years, working with Sam Handy, the head of performance, uh, and those coaches, we, we gel it all together and hopefully they'll come out in half decent nick come September, October.